Tracy here. Today I thought I'd share with you my Altered Creative Idea book. I mentioned it on my blog and quite a few of the ladies were interested in seeing, seeing it so I thought I would share it on a video as it's easier for me to show it on a video than it is for me to do with a hundred pictures. So when I say that I altered it, I don't mean that I altered the front of it. I really like the picture on the front. It is beautiful, so I'm going to keep that. I probably will keep it like that because, you know, if I put in a bookcase or move it around, I don't want anything falling off of it. But what I did do was I added a calendar to it. Now, I had bought this um, calendar put on or put out by scrapbook and cards today and by page maps and I really like this calendar it has the calendar in it which I will show you one of the samples it has the calendar on the one side and then it has um, little prompts it has a layout on each month and then it has little areas to write things and um, little tips so what I did I was happy to find out that both of the bindings are the same and they are the same as the bind at all, so the, like the same spacing, so I was really excited about that. And even though I took the calendar out of here, there is still ideas in here, lots of different ideas and layouts. And then at the very back, they have all these sketches. So it's not wasted, I still am going to use that. But let me change the camera angle so I can flip through the pages a lot easier. So first I will show you what I did last year. So this was last year's page and what I would do was I would stamp at the top the month and then have a little calendar and do a lot of stamping and I'd take die cuts and I'd add washi and decorate it and inking and just put some little things that I wanted to do. And then on the back page I would add a piece of pattern paper because the pages are pretty thin and a lot of the ink went through so I add a piece of pattern paper do some more stamping and then write a few little notes in there and actually this now that I I looked at it what I did last year kinda of mimics what the calendar has on the back page so and then I would write other things I'd want to do and I just I don't know I just they like, put in little inspirational quotes so that's what I did last year so let's move to this year so what I did was on the calendar from from um, scrapbook and cards today I took out the calendar pages and like I said they matched my um, bind it all exactly so I punched all the calendar pages with my bind it all and then I cut little slits in each one and so I cut little slits in between each of the squares so I can put the pages in the binding rings that are already in here or in the binding that's already in here. So here is say January. So I have the full calendar and this is this year's 2014. So I have the full calendar and then at the back of the calendars I have room to write my videos, things I want to do or remember and then I know every month P and I have a card challenge so I write down what the challenges are, are for that month. And then here is February's and again I have the videos that I've done, the things I want to remember or things I want to do and then my card challenges and then on the line papers I write um, like this I did a Valentine's envelope pocket for um, uh, the scrap for heart crop I taught a class and then I did a giveaway but these pages are still thin I'm wondering if I sh could maybe glue two pages together and then here's marches and again I have the videos that I want to do or I did I have the ones I want to remember to do and then all the challenges I have for the card that Philane and I do and then I wanted to do a video on questions and answers and these are some questions that you have had for me because I cannot reply to all of my comments that are made on my YouTube channel. Some of them don't have the little reply button, so um, I thought I'd do a video on that, but I haven't done that yet. And then just some organizing, and then here is April's. And um, the videos, I, I kind of keep it all the same. Like, you know, here's the challenge card, here are things I want to do for that month, and then my videos. And then here are some swaps that I am in. And then here was last month's card. I was just playing around with the measurements to make sure that the stamps fit on there. 
and then here I am new to ATCs and I was playing with with it and I didn't like how this one turned out <laughs> so I stuck it in here because I'm not going to swap that with anybody we'll just we'll just hide that in there and then here is May's which we are on this month right now and here is the same thing I want to do I don't have very many I only have the one video up right now and but I like that they still have the the layouts on here that's neat so I think this layout is also in the leftover pages that um, are in that other calendar. And then I put on my crop and I had an extra invitation so I added that in there as well. And just planning, some planning, and here are planning for my for my crop as well. That page is blank. And then this is part of May's tag. And that's all I have so far this month. So a few of you have asked me on my blog how I they wanted to see how I altered this book, but um, like I said, I altered the inside pages. I didn't alter the outside pages. So there you go. That is how my little creative book works. And uh, as I was working in it this year, as you can see, I was adding more to it. So thank you everybody for joining me. And I hope I gave you some ideas on maybe how to organize some of your ideas. And I hope you all had a very creative day today. Bye now.